How to play this game. A thoroughly useful guide from the hand of Roderick Bandersnatch. That's me. I, that's, bloody hell. Very, okay. Bollocks. One, pointing. Use your computerized pointing device, or a competent finger anyway, to select an action from the lower portion of the televisual outputter. Two, clicking. Once roused, you can apply your chosen action to stimulate objects or characters within the fictional yet absorbing game environments. They may also be lavishly applied to items in your own inventory, which can be found nestling near the bottom. Three, waffling. If you do not wish to listen to something that a character is saying, regardless of humor, relevance, or politeness, you may click to skip that particular line of dialogue. Four, the main menu. Caress the cog icon in the top right of the computer or later screen. Yes. From the main menu, you can save or load a game or access your game settings, including a spicy new one you can read more about over Leaf. Five, time. The game works in real time, so if you play between 8 p.m. and 8 a.m., the scenes, actions, and characters will differ to those found during the rest of the day. If you do not wish your game playing experience to last for several months, you may enable time skip mode in your game settings. This will allow you to use the pocket watch in your inventory to skip time. Six, cheating. I mean shortcuts. If you believe an important object is eluding you, you may hold down the left button on your computerized pointer editing device or the really wide button at the bottom of your keyboard to highlight the most important objects within each scene. Double clicking on an exit will teleport you instantly to the appropriate scene. That is all! Fare thee well, fare thee well. <laughs> oh, they don't stand a chance. Uncle, where the blazes is he? He's probably gone out looking for a good time again. It'll be his undoing, mark my words. Let's see what the mad old codger's been up to lately. Roderick Bandersnatch's good time formula. My secret blend of essential oils, quartz crystals, and animal parts has resulted in success. Harnessing the body's natural circadian rhythm to trigger a transformation. Senses and animal magnetism are heightened between the hours of 8 p.m. and 8 a.m. daily, guaranteeing a good time for the host for 12 hours every day. On subsequent pages, I've written the formula to reverse the effects, if desired. It looks like he's already knocked back half of it. I bet he's out there now trying his luck with the local strumpets. The Randy Galoot. I guess it's safe to give it a try. What's your problem? Oh well, down the hatch. Good heavens! It tastes like rancid sloth offal. Uh oh. 
I don't feel so good. Cripes! If this is my uncle's idea of a good time, no wonder my aunt left him. I should probably mix up that reversing formula quickly. No idea what's in these ones. It's got cold tea in it. It's state of the art. Hair of the dog. Looks like a recipe for an antidote to my uncle's formula. Hmm. Aha. Uh -huh. Yada, yada, yada. Really? If you say so. Okay then. I need to boil up water, opium and dog hair in a large crucible. Then drink it. I can hardly wait. It's empty. It's powered by my uncle's pet lemming. I think he needs some kind of incentive though. He only gets up if there's food on offer. They're paraffin lamps. It's a prototype and there's no gas. It's Smirnoff, my uncle's old dog. It's my grandfather. He went for a beard trim and never came back. It's a funnel used for filtration. It needs some kind of fine gauze to work properly. They look very fragile. It's my uncle. He's always looking for a good time. I wonder where he is now. It looks like my uncle bought himself a new dog. It goes upstairs. It's my uncle's violin. I think this one used to belong to my grandfather, God rest his soul. It's my uncle's walking cane. Weird. He normally takes it with him when he leaves the house. It's an elephant's foot with sticks in it. He's a professional louse tamer. Oh, look at those little guys jumping around. If I stood any nearer to them, I'd probably end up getting infested. They're too dirty. It's the front door to someone's house. It's full of people all having more fun than me. He's pretty hammered. The Balding Dog. He looks like he wouldn't appreciate any uninvited interaction. It's closed. I don't think that's hair tonic. I don't want to go in there. They look pretty tasty. She's worked here so long, she probably tastes like pie. Today's special, locally sourced, lean, meat. I prefer a greasy pie myself. And those quotation marks put me off a bit. They smell a bit like shaving foam. I don't have any money. It has an exposed, naked flame at the top. I'd need something very long if I wanted to interfere with it. It's the front door to someone's house. The curtains are drawn. It's the front door to someone. It looks well dodgy. He looks entrepreneurial. Free samples. Steve's juice. Why does everything around here have quotation marks?
Not until I know what's in it. I don't want to go too far in case my condition gets worse. It has an ex I need something very long. It just screams Barber. Nice door. Keep off the grass. It's unoccupied. It's a sea of red poppies. It's an oak tree. That big branch looks handy. It's rooted to the spot. Okay. They look better where they are. It's not long enough to reach the top on its own. I prefer one with a bit more snaz. Why not? No one else is using it. It goes upstairs. I don't need to go upstairs. It looks like my uncle bought himself a new dog. They're forgetting the fire really hot. It's empty. I don't have anything to tie them together with. Gently, gently. Bugger! One of the strings snapped off. Good idea. I'll use the violin string to tie something to this cane when I need to. Okay, I'll tie them together with this violin string. It's not flammable enough. Maybe I should add something to the end of it. That's curious. I wonder what it's for. I can't do that. She smells a lot like pie. It's peeling off the door. It 
looks just my size. It won't stick to my face when I'm like this. <laughs> Did you just sniff me? Not recently. <laughs> Don't come near me again, you piffling fun bugler. Why would I, you mankish guff snatcher? Spaff weasel. He's been nursing it for a while. It's pretty much empty now. Piddlestick. Jabbersnap. Got it. Whiffle pump. Clock I don't angle. like alleys. Bad things happen in them. Snuff wobble. Shittleberry. Funk dunk. Trump whistle. Cloth finish my drink now. Just don't sniff me again. He smells like lice. <laughs> I like that. Do it again. It's full of people. It's a white poppy. I don't need to carry it around with me. Now that's a smell I won't forget in a hurry. I don't make narcotics. Keep off the grass. It's unoccupied. It smells like a thousand bottoms. I don't have time to sit down. It won't stick to my face. That doesn't need poking with a long stick. That doesn't need poking with a long stick. That doesn't need poking with a long stick. That doesn't need poking with He smells like narcotics and sherbet. It's clear and looks like all the others. It's clear and looks like it's clear and free samples. It's the trademan's entrance. It's locked. I don't want to barge into someone's house. I don't want to break into someone's house. I 
don't want to barge. It has an exposed, naked flame at the top. I'd need something very long if I wanted to interfere with it. It won't stick to my face when I... It's empty, but 100% grog resistant. I don't want to go in there. I'd better not tamper with it. It smells like... people. Perfect for resting your drink on. Not with my current condition. I don't want to barge into someone's house. They're too dirty. They smell like amphetamine. Giuseppe Mitchell's famous traveling louse circus. Cheers! Hey, some of the circus lice just crawled onto me. I think they'd rather be on someone more tasty. I think they'd rather be on someone more tasty. No. No. I don't need to use that. No. Nope. Smells like bergamot. I don't recognize any of these smells. It smells like lots of bad ideas. Mmm, brassy. They smell like amphetamine. It's powered by my uncle's pet lemming. I think he needs some kind of incentive though. It smells like Heath Robinson. It smells like seeds. They smell like paraffin. It smells like lead paint. It smells like oil paint. It's my grandfather. He went for a beard trim. It smells new. Nah. It's attached to the stand. I think I'm in enough trouble already. I don't want any cold tea. I'll leave it here. I don't want to break them. I don't want to break them. He smells like my uncle. It smells like animal intestines. Unsurprisingly, it smells like elephants. It's way too heavy.
It smells like a scent. I can smell the street outside. A mix of opium and pastry. He's a professional louse tamer. If I want to manually control the time, I will need to enable time skip first. I do hope you read the how to play guide before you started clicking around willy-nilly. Let's see what happens if I move us forward 12 hours. I think the formula is wearing off. I think I'm only going to stay like this for the next 12 hours. I'd better mix up the antidote quickly. Nice lice. Thank you. It takes years of hard work to train them to jump like that. How do you train your lice? I let them swim around in amphetamine for 20 minutes every morning. Can I have some of your lice? They are not for sale, but are free to leave whenever they wish. I like your moustache. Thank you! You should get yourself one. Where does your travelling circus travel to? From the farthest reaches of the east to the great unknown of the west. You mean you go up and down the street? Yes. Bye. So long. Okay, I think there's enough glue on it. Wow, there's no way anyone will recognize me now. <laughs> Nice lice. Thank you. It Bye. So long. There are more coherent people to talk to. I'd rather not. He looks like he's not keen on being interrogated in any way. Not with my current condition. Good day, young lady. Don't try and sweet talk me. Felicitations, Mrs. Figgins. Piss off. What pies do you have? Lean meat only today. Why do you have a bonnet like that in a kitchen? It soaks up sweat and pie grease, although it does make it treacherously flammable. You're completely covered in pie grease, Mrs Figgins. It's to keep parasites away. You haven't seen any around, have you? It's like they're attracted to me. I'm in the mood for a greasy pie. That all depends on the meat supply. If you don't like what we have, you can sod off. Where does your meat come from? It's all sourced very locally. Bye. No. Final stop, chaps. Meet your tasty new host. Oh, my head's itchy. It feels like there's a ferret in me bonnet. Better let me scalp breathe a bit.
Okay. Some sexy stockings with a tight weave. They're full of holes. For the larger gentleman. They're not much use with all those holes. They're just my size. I prefer a longer John. It looks very absorbent. They have a pretty tight weave on them. Hello. How's the sweetie business? I'm offering a free minty bomb hold to every customer to try and get rid of them. Can I have a free sweet? They're in the bowl. Only one per customer. What do you do at night? This place turns into a juice bar. I offer free samples of those too. Bye. See you later. Little pinkies. Ooh, minty bum hugs. Toffee plops. Fizzy larks. Gobble buggers. I don't have any money. It's locked. I don't want to barge into someone's house. It looks like my uncle bought himself a new... It's empty. No point. It's empty. Hello there. Good day to you, Mr. Bandersnatch, sir. Good day to you, urchin. I ain't gonna be an urchin for much longer. I'm in the regional finals of Ragamuffin Idol next Friday. What's Ragamuffin Idol? It's the national competition for waifs and strays to show the world their skills. What skills? Poloining, misappropriation, pilfering, and good old fashioned delinquency. Good luck, you'll get my telephone vote. What's a telephone? Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure why I said that. What are you doing? Offering food scraps to those further down the social ladder than myself. It gives me a sense of enormous well-being. Park life, eh? What are you talking about? I'm not sure. May I have a go? This is the last of my precious bird seed, you know. Bye. Goodbye, Mr. Bladderpatch, sir. They're loving all that bird seed. It's a white poppy. I don't need to carry it around with me. It's an oak tree. Keep off the grass. He's not a happy guy. What's wrong? My betrothed has left me. Why has she left you? She found a better man. Was he of a less porcine stature? Absolutely not. My bubble craves substantial love. No, 
It was his weird, his luscious, scented, manicured, exquisite beard. I just couldn't compete. Why don't you just go and get your beard trimmed? I can't be seen out on the street like this. I'm a wreck. Just dry your eyes and get yourself to the barbers. I don't have a handkerchief to wipe away my bitter anguish. Bye. It was nice to talk to someone. I think he'd prefer something more absorbent. I think he'd prefer something less manky. I don't want to put more holes in them. Okay. Uh-oh. I feel all funny. Oh, great. Now I'm all big and hairy again. I need to sort out the antidote and fast. That doesn't need a bonnet. Lovely. I've covered up its knob. It's not flammable enough. Maybe I should soak it with something. That doesn't need poking with a long stick, even with a bonnet stuck on the end. That doesn't need poking with a long stick. That doesn't need poking with a long stick. That doesn't need poking with a long stick. That doesn't need poking with a long That doesn't need poking with a long stick. Okay. It's for soaking up spills. Absolutely. These things will always be popular.
Here you go. Dry your eyes with this. Why, thank you. Right. I'm off to have my beard beautified. Goodbye, kind stranger. Oh, he'll have a nice time at the barber's. That guy from the bench is in there now. I think he's hoping they take the whole lot off. It's a trickling stream of raw sewage. Don't mind if I do. Oh, he only won per customer. Okay, I think there's enough glue on it. Wow, there's no way anyone will recognize me now. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Now I can get rid of my amazing disguise. That doesn't need poking with a long stick. Why would I give him my hard-earned confectionery? Why would I give him my heart? Hello there. Good day to you, Mr. Bandersnatch, sir. Please, may I have some of your birdseed? All right. In exchange for an equal token of self-congratulatory altruism. Come again. Give me some sweets. Oh, I see. Bye. Goodbye, Mr. Bladderpatch, sir. You can have these if you give me that bird seed. All right, fair's fair. It's nearly all gone anyway. You drive a hard bargain. A favourite of birds and mammals alike. That doesn't need any seeds. I should just put them in his food chute. In they go. Maybe I should light that fire now. I just need to incentivize the lemming in the cage. It's stone cold. It's empty. Okay. It's a trickling stream of raw sewage. Okay then. I have no idea why I'm doing this. It's full of watery sewage. That doesn't need poking with a lot. I 
need to find something to combine them in. They have a pretty tight weave on them. That doesn't need poking with a long... He looks entrepreneurial. He smells like narcotics and sherbet. It's clear and looks like all the others. It's clear and looks like all the others. That would be a waste of good sewage. They look pretty tasty. That would be a waste of good. It's closed. That would be a waste of good. Now that would. Now that would be a pretty nasty trick. He already has a drink. That would be a waste of good. That would stink. Not without cleaning it first. I don't want to put more holes in them. That would be a waste of good sewage. It's stone cold. Okay. That would make a mess. I need to find something to combine them in. It goes upstairs. It looks like my uncle bought himself a new dog. Pure, unadulterated carbon. This stuff is great for removing small particles and bacteria. I should probably attach them to something first. I prefer one with a bit more snazz. That should help filter out any solid matter. Okay, in it goes. It 
creates a funnel with some stockings and charcoal inside it. That should filter anything. Oh man, this stuff honks. Look at that, crystal clear. I'm still going to boil it first though. It's crystal clear. In you go, it's just got water in it. It needs more ingredients. I don't need to. I remember what it smells like. It's a trickling stream of raw sewage. This one doesn't smell familiar. This one doesn't smell familiar. This one smells like those poppies in the park. I'll take this one. It's a small vial of clear poppy juice. That doesn't need medicating. It's a small vial of clear poppy juice. In you go. It's full of water and poppy juice, but it's missing a final ingredient. Hair of the dog. I need to boil up water, opium and dog hair in a large crucible. Then drink it. I can hardly wait. I don't want to just yank his hair out. That doesn't need poking with a long stick, even with a bonnet stuck on the end. It looks like my uncle bought himself a new dog. It's closed. She smells a lot like pie. They smell a bit like shaving foam. It smells like fresh meat. It smells like people. Yikes, it smells like death in there. It smells pretty evil in there. I can't reach it. That doesn't need poking with a long stick. That doesn't need poking with a... It's not flammable enough. Maybe I should soak it with something. I have no use for a congealing puddle of gore. That doesn't need poking. That doesn't need poking with a lot. Once it has everything in it, I just need to get it boiled up. That doesn't need poking with a long... We 
Queenie Rods. I can't reach it. That doesn't need poking with a long stick. That doesn't need poking with a long stick, even with a bonnet stuck on the end. Okay. Good day, young lady. Don't try and sweet talk me. What a precious little dress you have on. Why, thank you. You're looking absolutely radiant today, Mrs. Figgins. Oh, stop it. These pies smell absolutely divine. May I try one? I'll think about it. You're truly glowing today, Mrs. Figgins. Oh, you. Please may I sample one of your pies? Oh, go on then, you little charmer. It's dripping with grease. Hang on, there's something metal sticking out of it. Holy crap, that could have been nasty. I found it in my pie. I don't want to stick it back in. It's all greasy. Okay. Walking around with this inside my cloak's going to be a delicate operation. Hair of the dog. I need then drink it. I can hardly wait. Hair of the dog. I need to boil up water, opium and dog hair in a large crucible. Then drink it. I can hardly wait. Here boy, don't move. Got some. In you go. Water, poppy juice and a little pinch of dog hair. Perfect. I think it needs more heat. Right, here we go. That's roaring now. It's blazing nicely. Water, poppy juice, and a little pinch of dog hair. Perfect. I do believe it's ready. It's too heavy. Right, let's try it out. Hey, this doesn't taste too bad. Well, this is just dandy. I did try to warn you. 